Okay, we're going to keep talking about the inverse Laplace transform, but this function is a little bit complicated, but once you simplify and it is much easier, okay? So, well, this one, like denominator is really important to find the like correct uh, inverse Laplace transform. So your denominators can be factored by S times S square four, which is S square plus two square, because like on your table, like, you know, we have like those four, okay, in the table and your numerator, we couldn't, do any, we cannot do anything for this for now, but what are you gonna do is we're gonna do the uh, partial fraction. So, okay, let me show you like how we can do partial, partial fraction on the side. Here we go. So let me say uh, eight S squared minus four S plus 12 over S and S squared plus, well, let me keep the four at this moment. Sorry. And then we would like to find two separated fraction form. Since this is square, it will be just like first or uh, degree one, okay? Then when you multiply S and S squared plus four on both sides, this will be eight S squared plus four S plus 12 must be equal to eight times A squared plus four plus B, S plus C, and S. Is it okay so far? Then the, like, you know, when you compare your left-hand side and right-hand side, and you can easily find all A, Bs, A, Bs, right? So like, you can plug in some number, but like, you know, um, well, let's do it, okay? When you plug in S equals zero, your left-hand side is 12, and right-hand side, this part is gone, zero. Then this part is four and four a, then we can find a is equal to three. Okay. And then like, there's no other number which can be plugged in. So like now from this point, like, let me just compare the left-hand side and the right-hand side. Okay. Three S squared plus four plus uh, B S squared plus C S, right? Which is three um, S squared. Then we could have like three plus B S squared and plus C S and 12. Okay, 12 is matched. And like to make like your leading coefficient to equal to each other, your B must be five and your C is negative four. And that's perfect, right? We find or A, B and C is okay. Then, okay, with this one, let me come back. Your f of s can be written by um, 3 over s and 5s minus 4 over s squared plus 4. Like for second term, we're going to do the same thing with the previous problem, okay? We're going to split like with two um, like fractions with common denominator, okay? So um, this guy can be written by um, 3 over s and 5s over s squared plus 4 and negative 4 over s squared plus 4, okay? So like, let me tell you the truth, okay? So like first one, 3 times 1 over s, which is 3 times 1 over s. And the second one is um, 5 times s over s squared plus 2 squared. The very last one is, um, like two times two over s squared plus two squared. You know what I'm saying, right? Because like, you know, I just like try to match with the table and the first part is belong to number one. And the second part, as we did just before, like it's a little, really, little bit different with the, like in a previous problem, but this is like, you know, cosine function. So which is number six. And the last one is sine function, which is number five, okay? Then just like compare with the table, okay? Yeah, you're getting familiar with the table, okay? Then now, my inverse transform of the function is equal to three times inverse transform of one over S plus five times inverse transform of S over S squared to square and minus two times inverse transform of two over S squared plus two square, okay? Which is equal to um, three because one over s came from one and plus five cosine two t and minus two sine 
to t. This is a way to find uh, inverse Laplace transform.